Hello and welcome to the fourth part of the Morisco video tutorial series. In this video, we show you how to create a systemic situation model. We also discuss the optional steps of the method. When using the method for the first time, you must always complete the current step before you can start working on the next step. Steps 3 through 7, 13 and 14 are exceptions, as they can be skipped during the analysis. These steps are dedicated to the social components of the social ecological systems. You can decide whether to include these aspects in your analysis. However, we would like to strongly recommend this. The ecosystems are the basis for sustainable development in your planning area, including adaptation to environmental change. Their functionality must also be guaranteed in order to enable the local population to inhabit the specific part of the globe. Humans are an integral part of the global ecosystem. In reality, Complex situations of different social and ecological systems that influence each other often occur in application and observation areas. They are called social ecological systems. Therefore, any specific strategies proposed for inducing change and transformation in the complex social ecological systems of the planning area must also adequately address people's needs and attitudes. Otherwise, it is very likely that they will be ineffective. It is particularly important to reflect social conflicts and assumed reasons for certain habits and actions. In this context, it must always be remembered that people are part of the complex ecosystems that they live off and change. As a key element of these systems, the human subsystems deserve a careful analysis. It is not the aim of the exercise to reflect only perfect knowledge. In the early stages of the exercise, a basic understanding is developed from collected and shared knowledge. This understanding will be eventually be revised as the systemic situation model develops and at each stage of review. The team will understand that the knowledge in the group is likely to be preliminary, laying the ground for further learning. Any element that is integrated in the systemic situation model represents a preliminary hypothesis to be validated, specified and improved on or to be disproven and, re and rejected in the course of the adaptive planning process. We will start the analysis with step 8, dedicated to ecosystems and components. To create a new element, click on the plus button here. A window will open. Here you must first define the name of the element. In the text field below, you can also enter the name in an additional language, in case you are working in a multilingual context. Each element must be assigned to a category within the classification, so that the software can order the elements. It is enough to define the element at the first hierarchical level. In some cases, such as the elements of human well-being, the classification does not include further levels of hierarchy. If available, the software uses internationally recognized classifications. This facilitates exchange with other projects. The classifications can also be found on our homepage. In this case, we use the ecosystem classification of the IUCN. On the first hierarchical level, we define what kind of ecosystem we are dealing with, in this case a terrestrial ecosystem. In the second and third hierarchy levels, we can also assign the ecosystem in more detail, in this case the category T2, temperate boreal forests, or T2.2, temperate deciduous forests. In the details and comment fields, you can enter additional information that will allow your team members to understand your decisions. You can also add tags that can later be displayed using the search function. Furthermore, you can link photos. To do this, simply enter the link and add it with the click of a button. The creation of the new element is completed by clicking the Save button below. As already mentioned, you can search for specific elements using the search function. You also have the possibility to edit or delete elements. The elements are automatically transferred to the systemic situation model. To display it, click on the View Model button. Within the model, you can move around with the mouse and the control keys of your keyboard. A special feature within the classifications is Step 12. Here you have the possibility to create your own groups and subgroups. To do this, you must select the other option in the menu. Then you can enter your group name. With a check in the box Private, you can determine whether the new group name should be visible for all users or only within your team. In general, 
There are no absolute rules determining how specific an element of the systemic situation model should be described. However, the recommendation is to formulate the elements as precisely and specifically as possible. For example, a generic stress driver titled climate change will be much less helpful in the situation analysis than the following more precisely described facet of climate change. Increased frequency of severe frosts in early spring after warm winters. Thank you.